me walking to class from now on. Yep. Don't mind me, I just got a steering wheel in my hand. Normal. You guys know when you get into the car community, there's like certain things you always wish or that you always want to do to your cars. For me, every time I saw like a cool project car or a cool, just like nicely done or maybe drift car, I've always been in love with the interior setups and most importantly, the quick release steering wheels. And finally, after three plus four, four or five years of being into the car scene, Today is our day, baby. We're installing a raised steering wheel. She's not gonna be this quiet for much longer. Comment down below what exhaust system you think I got. I wish it was a Tomei, but then I sell Tomei's for 300s. Maybe one day, maybe one day. Anyways, for today's install, we got a... Uh... Now we good. Oh, I just remember though, we did get something Tomei for today's video though, so. Look at her just staring. So in this box, we have a quick release, a short hub, and <laughs> the steering wheel. And these are all from DND Performance. Huge thank you to them. Um, I'm gonna leave all the products I'm using in today's video in the description in case you wanna do it to your 300 or 370. You guys have no idea how hyped I am. Are you guys gonna help or just interrupt? Yeah. I would just get the wash. <laughs> Make sure you do it right. Ooh, welcome to the team. Look at this, bro. Look at this, dude. Oh. Damn, Damn. bro. Dude, touch it. Alcantara. Bro, that's so sick, dude. You man just. <laughs> this is a steering wheel, and since it's got kind of like a concave to it, um, we need a short hook for that. So. It's probably like the worst unboxing on YouTube, but we're just gonna roll with it. This is the quick release. So this will make the steering wheel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this one. guy just almost dropped your camera. <laughs> That's the first thing I told you. Okay, <laughs> okay, so this is the quick release. As you can see, the steering wheel goes here. And then every time you want a quick release the steering wheel, you click it like this, the steering wheel comes out. Super cool. And then over here we got the short, the shorty hubby. You can see right there, nothing crazy. This is red and the stitching for the steering wheel is white. Not trying to make anything give away too much, but we got a Tome shift knob. Is that a Tome? Yeah, dude. Tome steering wheel. I have steering wheel. Yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. Let's go inside the car. Out uh, with the old. And we also got a new shift boot coming. Sadly, it couldn't come today, so we're gonna install everything at the same time. And we got a boot for the e-brake coming. So, damn, the interior's gonna go crazy, bro. We're only missing the, the seats. Oh, look at that, dude. It feels really good. Also, I do wanna say I have no idea what I'm doing. First time ever installing a steering wheel, like I said, so. Before everything, we gotta disconnect the battery, so we don't want the airbag coming out to our face because that's just not good it's so kind of like unfortunate news i need a t50 i think it is to be able to take the whole thing out i had no idea but now i have to go to the stores oh that guy that said leds were illegal yeah, yeah if anything if that's I, why you can't listen to people from out of zone if he's, there, if he's there i'm gonna be like danny danny tell him tell him tell him about it no it's a t50 i just spent 27 dollars because I needed a T50 and there's no singular T50, bro. How do you how do you deal with this, dude? We should. Yes, it is. It is it's a T50. <laughs> also, another thing: before you um, take off the steering wheel, make sure it's straight. So then, when you put the other one back on, it's not crooked. Check this off. All right. So now we gotta disconnect. There's like a little clip in here. Oh god, this is so sketchy. The yellow thing right there. That's a big ass airbag. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> so now we gotta take off this big bolt right in the middle. Uh, let me see what size. Three, four. Are you supposed to hold the steering wheel while you Three, do four. that? Um, I think it stays by itself, by itself buddy.
No, but when I say hit it, like from the back. Yeah, from one. the back. Yeah, but remember, this thing's been there for ages. There you go. This one's much smaller, right? Yeah. Yeah. By a lot. But it feels so much better, dude. So much more comfortable. It's probably gonna be better, smaller, but yeah. All right, so mine only has one screw, but there's usually like screws on here, and then you gotta unscrew that, and then that's gonna allow you to uh, take this thing off, like. All right, well, looks like we got it. Okay, so we took out the clock spring. I think this is what you call it. We took out both plastics. There's bolts all the way at the bottom. Uh, now the hub basically goes with the DND logo down right there. All right, so we're just gonna leave this dangling. We're pretty sure this is for the airbag. Obviously, we don't have one anymore. Put this in. Look at that, bro. We got, we got, we forgot to do something, dude. This is, this is right here, right? Here. This Tomei. I'm gonna put it right in there. Let's go, dude. Alright, so I'm getting back to class. Alright, time to go home. Wait, how do you do it? Like that? There we go! It's going out. That's good, bro. All right, when are we going drifting? Right now. <laughs> Yo. If right. not, booty's coming. But dang, look at that view now, bro. Yes. From now on, we're going to have to wear gloves before driving, all right? No, you, you just have to hold the metal part. <laughs> Yo, look how good that You got to drive like this, like a bike. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's how normal people go to school. And then there's me. By the way, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. Push the thing down. And that ain't going nowhere, baby. I almost just hit the little kid. Now we good, that we good. Steering wheel is just one of those things where from pictures and looking at videos, yes, you think it's really cool, but once you actually get it, game changer. Bro, look at this interior now. Just straight up race car now, boys. What's Danny Z vlog without putting in gas, right boys? Let's go ahead and start her up. By the way, the white thing is already dirty. Probably not the move going white stitching, but it looks so good and it's gonna go so good with the car when it's done. So I kinda had to do it. We gotta do it to them, but yeah, I'm gonna try my best to just not touch the white stripe because it's already dirty and my hands are always dirty, sadly. We're gonna go drift. Cheers. I'm absolutely in love with this thing, man. Oh, it looks so good. I think my favorite part is just how it feels on the hands. Like, it's really thick and it just feels good on the hand. And obviously how it looks. Probably my second favorite part. This car's interior is coming along so well. A lot of you actually might be asking why I didn't buy one for the 370. And I feel like the 370 interior and just how the car looks from the outside is so much more modern. I feel like this type of steering wheel doesn't really fit it correctly. Like these older Japanese cars, yes, but the 370, I'll probably get like a really nice carbon fiber steering wheel. Not now, but if I did, that's what I would get. But yeah, super hyped. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited. Please show some love to the 300 videos. It helps out tremendously. Expect the exhaust install sometime soon. I think it's gonna get here next week on Wednesday. She's gonna sound so good and I just can't wait. And it's a bit of a surprise actually.
bit of a surprise. Get out one last time just so you can really see. Other than an exhaust setup, this and the steering wheel combo, hands down the best. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. Peace out, boys.